today we will study about an organism that belongs to the genus Myxine. It is a member of phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, division Egnatha and class Cyclostomata. The common name of Myxine is hagfish or slime eel uh, because of the presence of a soft scaleless and glandular skin it is called as the slime eel and also because of the cylindrical eel like body. And this is a marine form which is exclusively marine which spends the whole of its life cycle in the sea. There is another member in class cyclostomata uh, the lamprey or petromycin. In lampreys the life cycle consists of a marine stage as well as a freshwater stage. But in the case of mixine there is only marine stage that is why it is said to be exclusively marine. Then it is a deep sea cold water form and it can be seen in all the seas around the world that is it enjoys a wide distribution except in the polar regions. Now coming to the external morphology, the body is long and cylindrical and it is covered by a soft uh, skin which is glandular which is provided with numerous unicellular mucus glands and scales are absent. Coming to the fin system. The fin system consists of a single caudal fin that is encircling the tail. So, this is the caudal fin and uh, this caudal fin uh, it, it is median, it is a low and continuous median fin which runs backward from about the middle of the dorsal surface, curves round the tail and then extends forwards ventrally up to the cloacal pit. So, this is the tail fin or this is the caudal fin, it is the single fin which is present in mixing. The dorsal fins are absent or poorly developed and this caudal fin is said to be diffy circle. So, this is the diffy circle caudal fin where the fin rays are symmetrical equally uh, symmetrically and, and uh, symmetrical and equally develop above and below the notochord. That is why it is said to be diffy circle caudal fin. The life's uh, the mode of life, they are eel like scavengers. Sometimes they are predators or sometimes they can be seen as ectoparasites. So, they usually uh, feed on the dead bodies of fishes and also you can you can see them on live fishes attacking them and they detect these dead bodies by means of their sense of smell. Uh, they can also attack fishes as you can see here, they can also attack fishes after attaching themselves to the gills of fishes. So, here you can see uh, a fish attacked by this uh, mixine and uh, their mode of feeding it is also very unique in vertebrates in that they bite the prey with the help of two protrusible dental plates. So, here we can see the dental plates which can be opposably moved, they can be moved against each other and they can bore their way into the body of the prey by drilling the flesh of the prey. So, these are the dental plates. So, often they are seen as predators or ectoparasites and sometimes as scavengers. Now, coming to the anterior region, the mouth is terminal, whereas in petromycin or lampreys the mouth is ventral and here you can see the ventral mouth of a lamprey, whereas in mixine or hackfish the mouth is terminal. And in lamprey there is a buccal funnel at the center of which is the mouth present, but in mixine there is no buccal funnel and there are no teeth, but instead the dental plates can be seen. But in mixine you can see one feature that is the mouth is surrounded by barbels, sensory barbels can be seen around the mouth. So, here we can just see the uh, mouth which is armed with the dental plates which are movable and here you can see the working of the dental plate. This is the retracted condition whereas this is the protracted condition where these uh, structures they project out. Compared to petromycin, in mixine the eyes are vestigial or rudimentary or non-functional. 
that is they are uh, degenerate and they are uh, covered with thick skin. So, they are non functional the lateral eyes are non functional in mixine here you can see whereas in petromycin or lamprey you can see the eyes which are functional. Then in both lampreys and mixine so this is lamprey and this is mixine single nostril is present that is that condition is said to be uh, mono rhine condition that means they all have a single nostril but there is a difference in the position of the nostril. In lamprey or petromycin the nostril is dorsal it is placed dorsally uh, somewhat uh, in the cent, uh, at the region uh, between the two eyes whereas in mixine or hagfish the nostril is terminal it is seen at the end of the anterior region in petromycin it is dorsal but both of them show mono rhine condition that is single nostril and coming to hackfish or mixine the nostril is connected to the pharynx by a broad nasopharyngeal tube. Then uh, even though eyes are lacking in mixine there is another structure which is called as the pineal eye. It is a median and unpaired structure which is located on the top of the head. So, here you can see it this is the medial median unpaired pineal eye located on the top of the head it is light sensitive and arranged uh, along the sides of the body from end to end are the openings of the mucous glands. So, that is why the skin surface is very slimy. Now, coming to the nasopharyngeal duct uh, it was mentioned that the nostril it is connected to the pharynx by a nasopharyngeal duct or a nasopharyngeal tube. So, uh, in lampreys it ends blindly the nasopharyngeal duct in hagfishes open posteriorly to the pharynx whereas, in lampreys it is blindly ending. Now, coming to the skeletal system they have got a partial cranium which protects the brain it is not well developed. They also do not have fully developed vertebrae, vertebrae are rudimentary in hackfishes. The skeletal system is also less developed and whatever skeletal elements they have are cartilaginous there is no trace of bone. So, the skeletal elements are all cartilaginous now coming to the respiratory system. The respiratory system consists of uh, gill pouches. So, these are the gill pouches you can see there are 6 pairs of gill pouches, but these gill pouches they do not open out directly or they do not open out separately whereas, in others you can see in lampreys they were opening separately the gill pouches were opening separately to the exterior whereas, in hagfishes it is not the condition in hackfishes leading from each pouch is a long exit canal. So, these are the exit canals as you can see in this diagram these are the exit canals which lead from each gill pouch and these exit canals on each side they will join together posteriorly to form a common branchial duct. So, this is the branchial duct here in this diagram you can see the branchial duct and this branchial duct it will open out by an aperture which is called as a branchial pore. So, the it opens out through branchial pore. So, once again the respiratory system consists of 6 pairs of gill pouches the gill pouches do not open directly to the exterior they uh, neither open separately, but instead each gill pouch leads to an exit canal the exit canals on each side join together to form a branchial duct as you can see here and the branchial duct will uh, open posteriorly by a single branchial pore or branchial aperture. Now, coming to the so here you can see the uh, the detailed structure of a gill pouch here then coming to the circulatory system 
uh, hackfishes are known to have one of the lowest blood pressures among all vertebrates. So, they maintain low blood pressure, but they have the highest blood volume compared to body mass around 17 ml of blood per 100 gram of mass will be there in their circulatory system. The circulatory system consists of a pumping organ that is the heart which is the systemic heart which is located near the gills. So, here in this diagram you can see the uh, systemic heart which is located near the gills. So, this is the systemic heart of a mixine located near the gills and another feature is that apart from this heart they have got many multiple accessory pumps throughout the body which are considered as the auxiliary hearts or the accessory hearts. So, apart from the systemic heart they also possess pumping organs called as the auxiliary or the accessory hearts and the hearts are aneural which means that the pumping rhythm is not under nervous control. Now, coming to the excretory system, excretory system consists of kidneys and their kidneys are said to be pronephric kidneys that means the anterior tubules, the pronephric tubules of the embryo will join to form the kidney. So, the kidney is differentiated from the anterior tubules which are there in the embryo that is why the kidney is said to be pronephros. Whereas, in its close relative known as petromyzin only the larval kidney or the embryonic kidney is pronephric, but the adult kidney is mesonephric. Whereas, in hagfishes in both the embryonic as well as the adult stages the kidney is pronephric. Then uh, hagfishes are the only non vertebrates which uh, whose body fluids maintain the same osmolarity as that of the external environment. So, this condition is said to uh, such organisms are said to be osmoconformers that means the osmolarity or the concentration of the body fluids will change according to the concentration changes in the surrounding water. So, this is the only non vertebrate which is an osmoconformer, hackfish is the only vertebrate osmoconformer. So, that is regarding the excretory system and osmoregulatory system. Now, the brain is less developed and uh, there is also difference in the structure of the spinal nerves which originate from the spinal cord. The spinal nerves of mixine have united dorsal and ventral roots whereas, in petromyzin they are ununited or separate. Now, coming to the reproductive system, uh, unlike petromyzin or lamprey in which sexes are separate, the mixine will be a hermaphrodite. Lampreys have separate males and females, but mixines are hermaphrodites. Mixine is hermaphrodite that means, uh, the uh, same organism produces both the sperms as well as the ova. So, for this they possess the reproductive organ which is called as the ovo testis. Then the fertilization is external. In lampreys also the fertilization is external and uh, contrary to the lampreys who have a larval stage during development, the hackfishes do not have larval stages, they develop directly. In lamprey you can see the Amocetus lava in its life cycle, whereas in hagfishes or mixine there is no larval stage they undergo direct development. And uh, it was also mentioned that the lampreys they perform migration, the anadromous migration from the sea to the river for spawning, but no such migratory behavior is possessed by mixine. It always remains in the sea, its life cycle is completed in the sea that is why it is said to be exclusively marine, you cannot see a mixine in any other habitat other than the sea. And uh, they are they feed on dead fishes into which they bore, bore their way by eating the flesh. So, this is all regarding hackfishes or mixine.